I have complete confidence in him, and um, I thought that he would give us the best chance to get back in the game. on everybody welcome back into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content make sure you follow me on all my social platforms everything will be in the description below also don't be one of these guys that love to hover around the channel just subscribe it up it's absolutely for free but let's dive into it everybody let's talk about the elephant in the room um and obviously with how the season's Coming about here for the Arizona Cardinals, I know that this team isn't a team that nobody wants to talk about, right? We're 1-7. We are who we thought we were going to be heading into the season. Now, obviously, did I buy too much into the Kool-Aid of the Jonathan Gannon? Don't get it twisted. We're going to win games. Yes, I, I might have, right? And I might have got a little too excited about the beginning of the season bug, right? Or the beginning of the season woes and being too optimistic. Yeah, absolutely. I think I bought too much into the Kool-Aid. I absolutely did. Um, now, do we see some highlights? Do we see some positives about this new regime? Yes, we do, but not enough for me to be excited for the remaining of these games in the season right being that Jonathan Gannon has already named uh, QB1 for week 9 uh, and that is Josh Dobbs and um, it seems like Kyler Murray's appearance or debut in the 2023 season is getting pushed back further and further um, it, it almost kind of seems like there really isn't much to to root for other than looking at these new rookies and, and seeing what they can kind of accomplish right for the uh, the tail end of the season now as of right now while we're recording this video the Arizona Cardinals are sitting with the first overall spot in the NFL draft and in terms of the Texans pick I believe we got the 11th pick in the NFL draft as well now because of everything that's currently going on I want to go ahead and kind of give something away to one of you guys out there as of right now i am partnering with foco um and we are going to go ahead and give away some arizona cardinal overalls yes you heard it here correctly arizona cardinal overalls they value at uh i believe it's retailing about 78 dollars you could definitely go ahead and get yourself some right now all you need to do is subscribe to the channel make sure you smack the like button and let me know here in the comments what your size is and if you follow me on any of my social medias that's twitter or also instagram because i need to be able to get your shipping address if you are selected so make sure you go ahead and put it in the comments below give me your uh your size or or just if you want to be involved in this raffle to go ahead and get these free Arizona Cardinal overalls that you could probably use for future uh, seasons because I'm not sure any Cardinal fans are going to go to any of these games moving forward especially being that we might not even see Kyler Murray uh, for the remaining of the season but as of right now it's all TBD so Let's continue to talk about where we are kind of at right now as an Arizona Cardinal organization. Yes, we are one in seven. Um, the Arizona Cardinals do have a little positivity here and there, right? But I don't think it's enough to uh, to, to make things super exciting, right? I think we're all just kind of going through the motions. We're all trying to get through this season as much as we possibly can uh, and, and really kind of hoping for a... Um, I don't know, some light at, at the end of the tunnel here. Now, we did get a recent report here from Ian Rappaport that I feel like it's very, very um, something that we need to talk about. There was a report that ended up coming out earlier today while we're recording this video from Diana Rossini from The Athletic, and it says this, while there are teams that could be interested in trading for Arizona Cardinal quarterback Kyler Murray, I was told that the organization is not shopping him. Murray is expected to play for Arizona over the next few weeks. Now, obviously, See, you can take that the way you want to take it right now we know that most likely he will not be playing versus the Browns game now is he going to be playing versus the uh, Atlanta Falcons game maybe right TVD now I want to go ahead and touch on the most recent Ian Rappaport uh, video that I want to go ahead and you know play here for you guys and obviously it's kind of singing a different tune because I think right now as much as the Arizona Cardinal fans are confused and kind of left in the dark I think that this new regime is also doing the same thing and trying to figure out what the future is for the Arizona Cardinals as well as Kyler Murray. So let's dive into the most recent report here from Ian Rappaport. It sounds like probably not. Now, I mean, maybe he, he is able to be, he's going to be active after this week, right? I mean, they basically are going to activate him. It's not like they're worried about him taking up a roster spot. He's a quarterback. So I would imagine he's going to be activated. This is essentially the end of his window. Is he going to start? No. Could we see him a little bit? I guess it's possible and would probably make sense. The reason why I think is pretty obvious. This is training camp. This is like a basically three week to four week training camp for Kyler Murray. The knee is good. That is positive. It sounds like he's taken to the coaching, the scheme and everything really, really well. All that is good too. But when they want him out there, they want him to be the Kyler Murray that they know. 
And there's a lot going on here. There's the team evaluating him. There's him evaluating them. There's the team wanting to win. There's the fear of re-injury, which is diminishing every day. There's a lot that goes into it, but there is no rush at all. They just want when Kyler Murray to be out there. Very, very good player that we know him to be. So as you can tell here, ladies and gentlemen, the Arizona Cardinals right now have uh, Kyler Murray day to day. Um, and Ian Rappaport even came out and said that it's possible that the Arizona Cardinals can possibly, you know, activate him to the 53 man roster, but kind of using him at in a limited snap fashion, even have him uh, behind Josh Dobbs right now. Obviously, I think where we're kind of at right now, um, not a good season, right? Not, not a good feeling here, especially because we got... Um, nine more games left in the season and I think we're kind of at the point where we're just like how much more times can we see the same things over and over again right I think we're all kind of feeling that that the dog days of the football season and we want to end it and move on to the draft as a Cardinal fan but we got to go through the bumps and bruises and at this very moment uh, there's a lot to dive into right there's a lot of unknown there's a lot of uh, things that we need to dive into in terms of Arizona Cardinal organization is Kyler Murray their future I know there's a group of fans that do want him to to remain an Arizona Cardinal. We got a group of fans that want to move off of him and then move off uh, and trade him off in the trade deadline. But obviously with the recent report here from Diana Rossini, I don't think the Arizona Cardinals are going to trade him in the trade deadline. Now, if it happens, it happens, right? I, I, I'm i kind of one of those in the situations that it's just like, I just want to get through the season. Truly, I want to get through the season. Um, but we'll see, right? We'll see. Uh, a lot of questions, a lot of unknown, and I don't think this even this regime, I don't think this regime even knows exactly what 100% they're going to do. Um, but one thing I can say for sure is that with this most recent Ian Rappaport report that came out, I don't think the Cardinals are fully 100% invested in Kyler Murray being their quarterback for the future. I think they might be 90%, maybe even 95%, but there is a 10 to 5% window out there that's, there's just so much unknown, right? What if the Cardinals do end up with the first overall pick in the NFL draft? Do they go Caleb Williams or do they trade out and, and try to get a lot of picks, right? There's just a lot of questions out there right now and it all kind of comes down to, is it worth him playing, right? Is it worth Kyler Murray playing in a 1-7 and seven season and a possible 1-8 and eight season? Because we are playing against a very, very stout, you know, Cleveland Browns uh, t defense out there. So it's going to be very, very tough for Josh Dobbs to even get anything going uh because we know and we've seen the regression uh we've we've jumped on our soapbox many of times and there's just there's nothing to be done as of right now so uh here are the cardinals right they're one and seven um do i believe they're tanking uh, i i do believe the arizona cardinal players aren't tanking i think they truly want to win do i believe that this is going higher than you know jg's head possibly right maybe there might be some people up there that that are pulling some strings and saying you give us the best effort because this is basically a throwaway season for you jonathan gannon um and you know l let's play for the 2024 season and moving forward that can be a very well possibility right you want to call it tanking sure you want to call it um the arizona cardinals are trying not to win sure right i I think it's very apparent right now that Jonathan Gannon feeling that Josh Dobbs is the best person to win games, right? And he's still kind of standing on a soapbox saying that um, it is kind of interesting, right? It's an interesting thing to come out here and say that he has got full confidence in uh, Josh Dobbs moving forward, get this team moving in the right direction. So at this very moment, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are a one in seven team. Let me know here in the comments below. What are your thoughts here on Kyler Murray? Do you just want to sit him and not have him play a snap in 2023 and re-ramp him up in the 2024 season? Would you want the Arizona Cardinals to trade him, whether in the deadline or even in the offseason? Is Kyler Murray your guy and you want to just, you know, uh, sell off uh, the first overall pick if we have that? Do you want to take Caleb Williams? What are your thoughts here on how the Arizona Cardinals are A, handling it or what you want the Arizona Cardinals to do moving forward? Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards.